interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of... The Space Patrol. Brought to you by the Checkerboard Super Cereals. Wheat checks, Rice checks, and Good Hot Ralston. Stand by for exciting action on Mr. Proteus and the Poison Gas in just one moment. Watch tops for taste, size, and get up and go. Well, watch your screen for the answer. Here it is. Rice checks. Delicious bite-sized rice checks. See what they're like? Little pillows of golden shredded rice. Bite-sized biscuits that taste real crisp and wonderful. And say, for the get up and go you need to be one of my very best space patrollers, eat a good breakfast of rice checks. Try them. You'll like them. Right, Jack? I'll say. And one reason is this. Rice checks are toasted three times. Toasted once to make them super. Toasted twice to make them extra super. And toasted three times to make them super George. Try them, huh? Rice check. And say, for a bite-sized whole wheat treat, try wheat check. Remember, checks are tops for taste. Tops for size. Tops for get up and go. And look, Space Patrol trading card. You get one free in every package of checks. So, gang, what's the cereal for you and you and you? They're in the red and white checkerboard packages. You said it. Rice checks. Wheat checks. Hop, hop, hop. Look where this bunny landed. Right in the middle of a keen-tasting salad. It's the Funny Bunny Salad, featuring cling peaches and cottage cheese with crispy, crunchy, rye crisp to make it taste even better. Have Mom get the free Funny Bunny recipe and these three delicious products at her grocer's today. Buzz Corey has succeeded in upsetting the elaborate scheme of Mr. Proteus to swindle the United Planets out of billions of credits. Although Mr. Proteus, the master of disguise himself, has managed to escape, Buzz has recovered all of the money. Now, aboard his fast battle cruiser, Terra 5, Buzz is speeding back to Terra with Cadet Happy and the three metal cases containing six billion credits. I'll be glad to get that safely back to Terra. Yeah, there's no telling how many men Mr. Proteus has got working for him. I'll bet he tries to get it back from us before we can get it to the vaults on Terra. I wouldn't be surprised. What are we going to do, sir? I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to check that money, make sure it's all still there. Take over, Happy. Well, you know, the commander, don't... The rockets. With the two of us all alone with six billion credits. And on Terra itself, at Space Patrol headquarters, Carol Carlisle, daughter of the Secretary General, enters Buzz's central office. Space Patrol headquarters calling Terra 5. Space Patrol headquarters to Terra 5. Can I happy for Terra 5? Is that you, Carol? Yes, Hap. I just got word that you're on your way in and that you have the money with you. Carol, please don't use that word. Well, what's the matter, Hap? Somebody might hear us. Oh, on this private channel? Well, I don't care if it is a private channel. The way that guy, Mr. Proteus, gets around, it wouldn't surprise me if he was monitoring it. Well, when will you be back in? Oh, uh, we'll be landing in a couple minutes. Uh, why don't you meet us? All right, Hap, I will. And don't worry, you'll get the money back safe and no one will know about it. Nobody but the two of us. Who are you? How did you get in here? What do you want? You're not a space patrol. Oh. Try that again, it'll be the last sound you'll ever make. Now, you and I are going to keep each other company until Corey gets here with the money. I know who you are. Guys, doesn't fool me. You're Proteus. That's who you are, Proteus. <laughs> Hey, 
Here we are, Commander. Okay, here we are. All right. Let's go. You heard what he said? Put the money on the desk. Carol. But well, what about this one? I'll take that one. Fine. Hey. Uh, nice work, Commander. Watch him, Hat. Are you all right, Carol? Oh, yes, Bud, but I, I was so worried. I couldn't warn you. Claudius was here when I came in the office. He heard me talking to Hap on the space phone. Proteus? Sure, that's Proteus, all right. All right, Mr. Proteus. You thought you could fool us again with one of your disguises, huh? I'll admit you had us guessing a couple times, but not this time. No, sir. Not with that phony nose. You... you... Commander, that nose is real. This isn't Proteus. All right, where is Proteus? Where's he hiding? Happy, come here. I didn't get a head start. Head start? Commander, you sound like you wanted him to get away. I did. That's why I called you back. Now we can follow him. Maybe he'll lead us directly to Proteus. Sure. Why didn't I think of that? Buzz, you're risking all that money. There must be two billion credits in that one case. Speaking of money, you stay here and watch the rest of it. Come on, Buzz. Yeah. Oh, Buzz, come back. You can't leave. CB 2Y21 calling CB 3X43. Come in. Esteban calling Proteus. Come in. We could run circles around that crate, Commander. Be careful you don't get within his view scope range. We don't want him to spot us till we know where he's headed. Yes, sir. But, Mr. Proteus, I, I barely managed to get away with one of the money cases. We'll discuss the matter further when we rendezvous in space. You know my position. I'm waiting for you. Uh, I'll be coupling to your ship in a matter of minutes. Get a coupler to another ship right now. Hey, Commander, do you really think they could be Proteus? I'm sure of it. Pull in toward them slowly, Hap. It's about time. I heard as fast as I could. Only one case. But there are two billion credits in that one. More than a dozen men could spend in a lifetime. You stupid, blundering fool. You stupid, blundering fool. You risked your life for this. Oily rags, flight report cards, printed circuits. Supplies from a first aid kit. Junk, nothing but junk. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, then I'll explain it to you. Manicori aboard Terra 5, Sorry. holding spaceship number CV3X43. Come in. He's here. He's standing off a few hundred feet. What are we going to do? Shut up. Let me think. We know you're there, Proteus. You're under arrest. Stand by to be boarded. Let me warn you. Any tricks and you'll take a missile. He's holding this ship, not yours. That means this is the one he'll board. 
But we'll be up in yours when he does. But, but what good will that do? My ship can't outrun the Terra 5. No. You see these? What are you going to do? What are they? Tiny gas bombs. They're set off by electricity, and they contain just enough gas to fill a room. You mean you're, you're going to plant them in here for Corey? Now you're getting smart. But we'll be up on my ship. How can we set them off? The trouble with you is you have no imagination. I'll wire them to the spacephone speaker. Then when Corey gets aboard, I'll simply call him from my, from your ship, that is. You mean that when your voice comes through the speaker, that'll explode the gas bombs? Esteban, you know, sometimes you're positively brilliant. Okay, Hap. Bring her up under Corey's ship and magnetize to its hull. Here we go, sir. Magnetized to our hull. Oh, right. That's all right. We're all finished. We've got plenty of time. They're just coming through Terra 5 hatch now. Are you sure it'll work? Of course I'm sure. A few seconds after Corey hears my voice, those gas bombs will go off. Why, why don't you call them? Patience, Esteban. We've got to be sure they've had time enough to remove their helmets. No one up front. That's only mean one thing. Yeah, they're up there in the other ship. Let's go. Now, Esteban. Now, Commander Corey, welcome aboard my ship. You know who this is, fellas and girls? That's Bob Love, ace jet pilot who shot down six MiGs in six weeks in Korea. And the man who test flies some of America's hottest and newest aircraft. Well, let's watch Bob as he makes a test flight right now. Okay, come in, Bob Love. Here is America's most heavily armed fighter interceptor the Air Force Scorpion F-89D, produced by Northrop Aircraft, Hawthorne, California. I'm Bob Love, test pilot on the Scorpion. Now let's take a look at it peeling off at high altitude. In those wingtip pods, the Scorpion carries a whale of a lot of rocket firepower. Its speed is over 600 miles per hour. Length is 53 feet, wingspan 56, weight a big 20 tons. You know, a fella has to be in top condition to test fly a fast aircraft such as the Scorpion. And that's why I always make it a rule to sleep well and eat well. So, for breakfast, I pick a cereal like Rice Chex or Wheat Chex. They're chucked full of energy and really taste good. You'll like them. No other cereal, puffed or flaked, contains so much nourishment in such concentrated bite-sized form. Rice Chex, Wheat Chex. Make sure you keep yourself ready for action the way Bob Love, Chuck Yeager, Bill Houghton, Tony LeVere, and lots more famous test pilots do. Eat wheat checks and rice checks every morning. The cereals that are tops 
three ways. Tops for taste, for size, and for real get up and go. That's checks, wheat or rice. Remember, they're tops with America's top pilots. Now back to Space Patrol. to guard a bunch of junk, will he? This is Space Patrol Headquarters calling Space Control. I want Commander Corey's blast-off course. Look at this, Corey. Flight report cards, oily rags, printed circuits, supplies from a first aid kit, but all from a spaceship. You switched it aboard your ship, didn't you? Did I? That money is still aboard Terra 5. Then why don't you go find it? I've got a better idea. You're going to find it for me. You won't get it that way, Proteus. Well, maybe not. But I think I will. This way. You see that, Corey? There's enough explosive here to make a mess out of this compartment and everybody who happens to be in it. And your cadet is going to happen to be in it. Now, you're going to your ship with us. This explosive will be rigged to the spacephone, just as the gas bombs were. And if you don't take us right to the place where you hid the money, I'll set it off by merely making a call through my miniature spacephone. You get the picture, Corey? to the money. Come in. 
CV2Y21, come in. Glad to see you. I'm glad to see you didn't get any spaceship phone calls. Calling spaceship CB3643. Uh -oh. Mr. Proteus, what are you doing? Fixing this ship so it won't fly. Get your helmet on. We gotta get out of here. Here, hang on to this. Hey. Swap and rockets, Commander. That's where the money is. Hey, if you don't mind my saying so, that sure is a suitable place to hide it. <laughs> right here. I wonder where they could have gone, sir. Uh-oh. What is it, Commander? Somehow they managed to slip around us. We got back aboard Esteban's ship. They're blasting off right now. Should we go after them? Right after them. They won't have a chance of getting away from good old Terra 5. Did I say good old Terra 5? The rockets won't fire. And here's Pi. This time I know where you are, Buzz Corey. I saw you come back aboard Terra 5. And if you think you're going to get away with that trick you pulled on me, you have another thing coming. The very idea of making me stay behind to watch those two cases full of junk. I hardly know what to say. I had no idea. Just to think that my voice coming in over that space phone could have meant that, that Happy could have been blown up. Oh, you'll never know how sorry I am. Will you forgive me, please? Well, I don't know. I really shouldn't, you know, but... Well, maybe if you apologize just once more. I wasn't talking to you. Hmm? I was apologizing to Buzz about the way I acted for being left behind in those two cases. 
You know, I'm... I'm the one that's... Smoking rocket. Some days you just... You just can't win. In just a moment, a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure, which will be brought to you by Nestle's Ever Ready, the Instant Cocoa, and famous Nestle's Chocolate Bar. Well, Space Patrollers, after an exciting adventure like you've just seen, everybody radios the galley for a good big cup of Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa. And no wonder, there's nothing like this sensational hot drink with the super cosmic flavor. And you know you can make Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa fast as one, two, three. Well, watch as our commissary cadet, Nettie Nestle, and I put one, two, three teaspoons in the cup, add hot water, and there it is. Delicious Nestle's Cocoa, all ready to serve. Nestle's is full of rich whole milk and energy building sugar. So it gives you plenty of built-in power. Commander Corey says, have Nestle's every morning for breakfast. So be sure to ask Mom to get Nestle's Ever Ready Cocoa in the big red can. And remember, N-E-S-T-L-E-S, -E -S, Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. Now seen from next week's exciting adventure, The Revenge of Mr. Proteus. Rockets, Commander. It's, it's a bomb. A time bomb. It? And it's ticking. It stopped. It's going to go off. Be sure to see what happens when Buzz and Happy encounter the revenge of Mr. Proteus next week on Space Patrol. Patrol was brought to you today by the bite size cereals and the red and white checkerboard packages, wheat checks, and rice checks. Be sure to hear Space Patrol on ABC Radio every Saturday. Consult your newspaper for time and station. This is the symbol of help, the Red Cross. Help for the sick, the injured, and the helpless. Be a real Space Patroller. Make a real contribution to the Red Cross.